something that we've gotten used to in Boston, which is fight the far right. Are you ready? Our plan today, we're going to have some speakers, and then we're going to march over to them at City Hall Plaza, where they are trying to have a rally against, quote, left-wing violence. You can't even fit all the names of the dead that the far right has killed on one page, and they have the nerve to have a demonstration against left-wing violence. So we're going to send a message that Boston rejects their hate, and we understand what their, what their agenda is all about. So our first speaker is going to be Ben from the Boston Democratic Socialists of America. One year and one week ago today, fascist in Charlottesville killed Heather Heyer. A white supremacist drove a car into a crowd of counter-protesters, injuring dozens, taking Heather's life. Today, we stand in honor of her memory, in honor of the memory of all those that these fascists have killed, to say that hate has no place in Boston, just like tens of thousands of us did in this very same spot when these same assholes decided to visit last year. If you talk to these dipshits, they'll insist that they're not fascists. They're nationalists and proud patriots. But then they go on to say that Black Lives Matter is a conspiracy, that feminists are waiting to get them around every corner, that there is a globalist assault on white people, that they are, and that they are the brave soldiers standing up for those poor, oppressed white men. Sounds like a Nazi to me. All while not even mentioning that they were at Charlottesville and that they have been in the streets in Portland, Oregon. They say all this while their friends stand there dressed as crusaders with neo-Nazi tattoos on their necks. They say this protected by armed police as they carry out the work that the fascists in power can't yet do openly. But these shitbirds are not the only faces of fascism. And those they have killed are not the only ones harmed by people who share and support their vision. The criminal punishment system that enforces white supremacy wears the blue of police officers' uniforms as it shoots people of color in the streets, and the black of judges' robes as it sentences people to lives, to lives of legalized slavery. The green of the U.S. Army has killed millions in the name of the U.S. Empire, and the capitalists who profit from it. ICE is still deporting millions of people, just like it did under Obama, just as its country has always done. All this happens under the red, white, and blue of the land of the free, a land built on the legacy of settler colonialism, built on the genocides of indigenous peoples. We have an obligation to oppose these people because every chance they get to speak unchallenged is a chance for them to organize, to grow, to keep spreading their hate. We live in a time of rising fascism and it, um, around the globe. Faced with ever-rising inequality and ever-rising seas, the capitalists and imperialists around the world are choosing to close their borders, to cling to the wealth and racism that they need to survive. Because to them, another world is unthinkable. We must come together and make our stand. We must always oppose fascism when it shows its face. We have no other choice. And so we are out here again, because we will not stand idly by and let the threat to our communities that these assholes represent go unopposed. We are out here to remember those that have been killed in the name of hate. And we are out here, standing together, to fight for a better future with no borders, no nations, and people living together in peace. Woo! All right.